Anna Chia Fui is the first woman to lead the National Trades Union Congress as its president. Her appointment has been described as a reflection of inclusive leadership within the labor movement. Saifu Bari Ismail with more. Union. 381 delegates cast their votes to choose a new team for the NTUC Central Committee. 21 members were elected to the committee, almost half of them are new faces. We've got them in a span of ages, so that also helps in leadership development, exposure. So, you know, if you're talking about uh, building the next team up, I think, you know, we really have uh, a strong mandate from this election itself to build up this team to give uh, members equal exposure and some maybe more okay so that we can uh, expand their strength and their contributions the labor movement has given its outgoing president john de paver the title of president emeritus this is in recognition of mr de paver's valuable contribution to the ntuc he will continue to serve as mentor and represent the labor movement's interests in the international arena Labour Chief Lim Sui Se retains his post as Secretary General. The new Central Committee's work will be guided by the Labour Movement 2015 vision, which has been endorsed by the delegates. To realise this vision, the NTUC says the push for tripartism has to be more pervasive. It's also asking its tripartite partners to consider revising the CPF cut at the age of 50. Broadly speaking, the, the, the Labour Movement position is that the 50s is the new 40s, right? So therefore, to start the CPF cut at the age of 50, we think it's too early. Now, we have our recommendation, which is just basically take the curve, move it slightly, um, move it back uh, progressively, and then we can do some refinement uh, for the tail end of those more than 60, 65, and so on. The Central Committee is expected to conduct a midterm review of progress made in 2013.